Hi, my name's Dave Cad. How's it going? So at this point in my life, I've been back and forth to Finland. I, I literally have no idea. I've lost count at this point. That said, I do remember the very first time that I visited Finland. And at that point in my life, I didn't really know much about this country. And it's pretty crazy looking at that day compared to now three years later, where I'm living here in a nice purple room. Don't ask. <laughs> Now, there are a few things that I wish I had known before I stepped foot here in Finland for the first time. So I'm going to share my knowledge now with you. And hopefully, if you haven't visited Finland before, you will be ready for anything. So I have five things to tell you today. But if you are from Finland and you have some other tips for anybody visiting Finland for the first time, let's use the comment section below this video as like a, a gold mine for people visiting Finland for the first time. So with that said, Let's begin. Number one, be prepared for some weird food. Now, I don't want you to misunderstand and think when I say weird, I mean bad food, because that isn't always the case, trust me. But there are some traditional dishes here in Finland which uh, might catch you unawares. And the best example of this is something called maxalatikko, which I think literally translates to liver box. And this dish is actually basically just mashed up pieces of liver mi mixed with some rice and some other stuff. Sometimes there's raisins in there as well. Now, if you haven't tried that, I can well understand that you think that sounds disgusting. But maxalatikko is by far my favorite Finnish food. It is so good. So number one, be prepared for weird food, but also try it because it might change your life. Secondly, and this is a little bit of a stereotype that I'm gonna share with you here. And of course, this isn't necessarily true for the whole population of Finland. I understand that. But as a whole, and kind of generally, Finns tend to be a little bit, a bit shy, especially when it comes to maybe speaking English, where if they're not used to speaking English, like on a regular basis, they can be a little shy and maybe even come off a little bit rude. But just persevere once you kind of get flowing 10 times out of 10 once you get to know a finnish person and like spend a little bit of time with them they will open up and i can almost guarantee they'll be the best person you've ever met in your life number three and <laughs> this is a bigger one and this completely goes against the kind of stereotype that finns are shy number three is that finns love to get naked now i'm sure most of you have heard of a sauna which is actually pronounced sauna just so you know but here in finland it is very normal and actually encouraged that you go into the sauna completely butt naked. Of course, there are some situations where that actually isn't so encouraged. So probably best to make sure first. But generally speaking, and I guess traditionally speaking, you go into the sauna the way you came into this world, completely naked. And it's not as weird as you might think. It's just, you know, it's just what happens. It's an experience. And often if you're going for a swim, especially if you're out at somebody's summer house or something like that, get that swimming costume off. We're going skinny dipping. And now talking of summer houses and things, that brings me on nicely to number four. And that is that there is a lot more to Finland than just Helsinki, for example. And that takes a lot for me to say because Helsinki is by far my favorite city that I've ever visited. So much so that I, I moved here. But if you do ever visit Finland, of course, come to Helsinki, take a look around. It is a beautiful city, especially in the summer. Definitely spend a couple of days here in the city and then go away. I mean that in the nicest way possible. Get outside of the city and find yourself somewhere in the countryside, maybe a little cottage by a lake or the archipelago or something like that. Because I personally have never experienced anything like the Finnish nature. And again, I can highly recommend that you do this during the summer months because you get these long days where the sun barely sets before coming back up again. And there's just something really magical about the Finnish nature. And now speaking of summer, it's almost like I planned this video out, isn't it? Huh. Speaking of summer, number five, be careful of the weather. The weather here in Finland is about as unpredictable as it can get. And it's so unpredictable that even just last year, there was a viral video going around, which you may have seen. It's of a Finnish weatherman trying to tell the weather that in like the middle of May, there, there may be some snow coming your way. It's hilarious, you gotta see it. Just Google like Finnish weatherman cracks up, something like that. So even if you visit Finland in the summertime, <sighs> there's no guarantees, I'm afraid. But what I can guarantee you is if you come during the winter months, there will be snow and there will be a lot of it. That being said, if you are lucky and you come like from midsummer to the end of August, for example, if you get some good weather, 
you are going to have an amazing time. So those are my five things I think anybody visiting Finland should be prepared for. Like I said earlier, if you are from Finland and you have some good tips for someone coming to Finland for the first time, use the comment section below. Give them a heads up. But that is about it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to the This Is Finland YouTube channel. And with that said, I guess I'll see you guys next time. See ya.